Hi all folks, this is Max from um, HighOnAndroid.com, your favorite YouTuber Zito Max here. Um, anyway, we got the new uh, Netflix here, um, which is really cool. This is the uh, version made for tablets, and today is also the launch day of Kindle Fire, which is actually arriving here any minute. Um, it's version 1.52 build 389. If you uh, have a like a seven ten inch tablet you can go and update it I think Netflix did this um, updated their tablet versions because Kindle Fire is coming out today and there's gonna be a ton of people with Kindle Fire with Netflix app um, which is really cool and also this one uh, is updated before the iPad um, so you can see all the movies I have been watching and I've share my um, ID with a bunch of my family members so they're watching all these other movies also but it's cool because now you can go watch Yo Gabba Gabba at the end of it or you know maybe some of these other movies um, other than that it's you know it's more graphical um, it looks like they revamped the UI here because it looks a lot more um, a lot more tablet friendly and also, whereas before, it was just really made for the phone and then they enlarged it. Um, one thing that's still missing when I go to foreign movies, like if I go to the desktop version, I can actually choose Korean movies, which I like to watch. Uh, I mean, it's still all there, just categorize. Um, the, the categories are missing compared to um, the desktop version, which allows me to just see Korean movies. <coughs> um, but this new feature, Swipe to the right is pretty cool. It's kind of um, intuitive, I guess. And you got the three screens. It's pretty smooth, I would say. It's a, just a little bit laggy, but you know, that's due to the amount of movies you can scroll through here. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you the new network Netflix app um, that just came out today. And also, I'll have a review of the Kindle Fire real soon here. Um, so watch out for that and subscribe. See y'all later.